Have you ever thought that if parents would only step up and get involved with the unit, how good things could be? Hey, Scouter Stan. Let's talk a little bit about the new member coordinator. This is a subject that was suggested by viewers like you. Uh, this was from Hannah Defoe, who is a regular on our channel. Uh, he, they want to know, <laughs> what is a new member coordinator? A new member coordinator works with the recruitment team of your unit. They do many of the basics when it comes to new parents joining your unit. And this crosses over to parents who have a, a habit of just dropping off their scouts. And then we hope they show back up to pick them up. That can be a problem. So to curb that, what we need is to invite parents in. We need to make them feel welcome a part of the scouting family. Now there are three elements that are needed for a successful new members coordinator's job. They're often not in uniform. They will wear either um, a non-uniform t-shirt that says welcome on it. Uh, they could be in a semi-uniform. Uh, it really depends on the individual. The whole goal there is to make sure the parents feel comfortable. Sometimes they feel threatened. I don't know why. All these doodahs and stuff that they put on a uniform can make parents uneasy. But there are three elements that we need to talk about. The first element is sharing the benefits of scouting. The new member coordinator should talk a little bit about how scouting has been incorporated in their own lives. This also affects that coordinator's family. By example, we can show parents that they can get involved too. There is a ton of research data out there for the coordinator to really use in their presentations with parents. We know the values of scouting, but do your parents? Parents should be involved also. They have an interest in their youth's meeting. That's very important. That's why they're there. And it's good to keep them coming back so that they get more out of scouting, just like the youth. Now the new member coordinator uh, needs to make sure the parents are connected. So using social media, whether it be an email or any of the social medias that are out there that are available, they need to be able to communicate with the parents. A lot of units have a website and this is a wonderful way for them to write articles, and information about for parents about the scouting program. The new member coordinator also can help out in different events in the community. And this service is critical to the unit and to the parents. The second big part is, of course, they need to work with your recruitment team. Now, we did do a video about the recruitment team and included the new member coordinator. Now, if you'd like to check it out, it's right up there, okay? So, definitely check that out. Um, that video covers a lot of information. The coordinator actually oversees a lot of the activities within the recruitment team. They're also the lead for a lot of the school nights that are done throughout the area. They often put together information uh, presentations and they will even do peer-to-peer -peer invitations to a meeting. Now, we both know scouts don't join 
because of a meeting, okay? They joined for the adventure, and that's the big key. We want parents to know that it's safe, a good environment, and they learn a lot from these adventures, and that's why scouting is so important. Getting the youth involved, getting them out there, going to all these activities, very important. The event coordinator might also work with electronic media, and this could be anything from a website to emails, you name it. There's a lot of different things out there. The coordinator should promote all of the activities that the scouts are doing, especially to the parents. Now, don't stop there. There are grandparents, too, okay? They are important in that scout's life, and they should be involved, too. The new member coordinator also works with the Be a Scout pin. This is critical to make sure that these things are up to date. This is huge. We need to make sure this is done because when people want to find your unit, they go to BeASCOUT.org. They end up here. You need to have everything on there that, that parents will want to know. This helps them sign up, get information, come to a meeting. This is the year-round recruiting I'm always talking about. It comes down to this connection, and the new member coordinator helps in this regard. Now, I'm going to put a link down in the more section. There's, there's a lot of links down there, so go and check those out for more information. Now, the new member coordinator also works with schools. A lot of times, they are teachers in the school and they can promote and work with the administration to do all kinds of promotions for their unit. And it doesn't end <laughs> with grade school. We're talking middle school also. There's a lot of times that the new member coordinator will work with community leaders in conjunction with their charter. Their chartered organization might get involved. So these are great connections, and this is the key. They keep the parents informed. Hey, before we go any further, I want to make sure that you are invited to come to the live meeting. The live meeting is on the first Sunday of each month at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So please join us. Now, you're going to have to adjust for whatever time zone you're in. But please join us and join in. That's a great way to ask questions, and I'm there to answer them. Also, I want to personally thank all of the patrons on Patreon for their continued financial support. Also, if you would like to become a channel member right here on YouTube, hit the Join button and go through that process. It's a great way to help fund what you see here. If you don't want to do a monthly donation, that's fine. We have a thank you button. Just hit the thank you button and make a one-time donation. That is always appreciated. And let's get right back to it. Now, guiding that welcoming process is critical. You want parents to know that they're appreciated, that they should come to the meeting and not participate in the youth meeting, but literally go and work with the new member coordinator, or as I like it, call it the new parent coordinator. <laughs> okay, that's, that's important. Uh, we need to help them get more comfortable. That is super important to brand new parents to your unit. Now, there is no reason there has to be just one. It could be several. Several adults can join in as a new member coordinator. That is totally fine. Having a team of them working with the recruitment team is super important. And this is a position that's year-round. It's not just seasonal with recruitment. A lot of people think that recruiting is seasonal. It's not. It is year-round. So, And this is a part of that. 
We want to develop that strong sense of belonging. Not just that their youth is part of the unit, but they are too. It's totally fine for them to do the youth protection and do all that stuff. That is actually recommended. Every adult that's involved with the unit should do youth protection. That training is critical to all adults. Even the ones that are not in leadership. They're not even, they don't have an application in. I mean, mom and dad need to know what the scout leaders are supposed to do. That is critical. A new member coordinator can definitely help in that regard. I don't believe it should be done right away. Sometimes, you know, you know that training because you've done that training. It can be kind of intense. So if you're not ready for it, that's, that's something that a new member coordinator needs to work with new parents on. A good place to start for that is the Scout Handbook. There's a small insert in there. Make sure that the parents go over that with their children. Now that is an example of what a new member's coordinator can do. They can actually go through that process. That could be a meeting. It could be questions and answers. This is critical for getting parents involved, invested. Now, one of the things they can also do is come up with an electronic Q&A. That's great, okay? You could put that into your website. You can send it out as an email. This is fantastic, and it should be constantly developed using the knowledge base from your parents coming in that, that when they are starting to ask questions and stuff, that knowledge base starts to build, okay? And you can get that from your new parents. Now, in Wood Badge, we constantly say that feedback is a gift, and it is. You want that feedback from your parents. Now, I'm going to put a video up here. It's on the recruiting team being year-round. It's the only way to do recruiting, year-round, all the time. Any given month, any given week, you need to have something in regards to recruiting and retention. And this is a huge part of it. Another big thing with the advancement team is to make sure that the youth and the adult applications are completed and filled out correctly. That's important. Um, that is getting more and more electronic. So that needs to be reviewed too. And that goes for transferring records, um, doing all of the things that have to do with fees and stuff like that. This is something that a new members coordinator can actually help with. Now the scouts have their own program, okay? <laughs> the youth are going to do their meeting, okay? Uh, Cub Scouts, a lot of the adult leaders work on that with them. So they're going to have a great program. The new members coordinator needs to come up with a program that's fun and exciting. So it might be something uh, as simple as uh, watching a video or maybe just popcorn, you know, to kind of promote popcorn sales. These are things that, that they can come up with that make it fun for the parents. They need to be involved too. It can be overwhelming if they're not in the loop, okay? That's, that's really the thing. You know this, you're a parent, you know this. If you're not in the loop, you don't, you don't know what's going on. So that's a critical part of this, to keep them in the loop, to keep them active, to keep the youth doing their thing. We have to do our thing. That's just as important. Always promote that feedback. Feedback is so important. You need that from your parents, and we want them to get involved. Now imagine that. If you had, if you have 20 youth, you have 40 parents, okay? <laughs> or more, because we don't forget grandparents, okay? So uh, this is huge, okay? So imagine a unit with that many youth 
and that many adults that are contributing and helping. Everything from service projects, you know, driving scouts to camp, uh, y y you name it. Okay, there's so many things that go on in the background that if you don't have the, the parents involved, it makes this job really hard. So don't, don't dismiss this position. It's a critical position. If you've ever thought, like I said earlier, if you've ever thought only if parents would get involved, this is how you do it. This is how you get them to buy in. This is how you get them to be active in the unit and help out. And we do so much work, okay? You know this. We do a lot for our scouts, and we need to keep that going. It's so critical. So, I want you to keep doing it. Please make sure that you get a coordinator if you don't have one. If you have one, thank them, okay? Because that is a big job, okay? Huge, all right? So, very important. And uh, keep up all this hard work we do for our scouts. We are changing the world. One scout at a time. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I thank you for all the work you do. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail.